Hello again viewers and greetings fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night and welcome to episode 10 of my Silver Fall Let's Play series. And I am headed north to go confront the the corrupt elf king and uh, bring an end to his tyrannical reign over the area and continue the storyline. So, let's uh Summon our friends here. You may notice that I have a new sword. I upgraded my sword and a few other items. And I'm glad I found the sword because the attack speed on that other one that I was using was just way too slow. And this is a notable improvement. Alright, let's follow the semi-road thing here. I think when I level up, I am going to go ahead and spend points on that level up because I want to uh, pursue my next uh, I guess stage in the game. I picked this character so I could have a little bit better stats for turning into a werewolf and doing my attacks that way. So that's what I'm going to focus on after I level up here on out is combat as a werewolf. Are they going to come and get me? No. They are. I should be leveling up here pretty soon. There it is. Pick this stuff up. And let's go ahead and spin these points. Uh, skills, race, I can now be a werewolf. And I guess I'll go ahead and spend all those points towards being a werewolf. And then, there we go. There I am. A werewolf. All right. Not only can I run faster, but I also have four attacks in one right now. My stats are still kind of low, but it's an improvement over just swinging the sword. As you can see, that combat took a lot less time for three guys than it used to. Wow, being a troll werewolf, I have this huge gait. I sort of bounce when I run. Unfortunately, early on, My duration for being a werewolf isn't all that long. Alright, let's keep going. That's <laughs> funny. When he runs, it, it, what goes through my head is doop 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 doop. -do -do. All right. Uh. All right. Now, I do have to 
change back into my character form in order to summon my minions. All right, let's move on. Pick up this stuff. And I think, yeah, I have to go this way, then up here, then back down, then over there. All right. You can't see it on the map when it's all fogged out, but that's where I have to go. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I'm not a werewolf. Attack! Do 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 Couldn't get to him. I'm really gonna have to look into what the ins and outs are of the crafting system because I really don't understand it. Haha, <laughs> I was able to sneak right past him. Not these guys. Okay, Morka, heal me. walk up this little mounted up path here. Oh, I'm not a werewolf. Get rid of the non-champions so everyone can focus on the eagle. There we go. Ah. Pick it up. Alright. Get going. Nope, that's not how to get going. Go. 
lump of steel. I don't have any guys. All right. We summon all these things. There we go. Here I need to go over here. I think I can sneak around this way. Ah. All right, there we go. Come over here. And then go in. To fight Prince Dylan on his eagle. Ah, I transformed again. There we go. Then a little break, and it comes down off his eagle. Then you have to fight him again. all this da, 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 da. all right we're already dropped Nothing useful. Well, some money. There's a couple chests. And just because they're chests doesn't mean that good stuff's going to come out of them. But they're always worth opening just in case. Alright. Now, we can go back to here. That actually didn't take nearly as long as I thought it was going to take. Alright. Oh, another dialogue. Companion side quest. Uh, those little dialogues can get kind of annoying. 
because they appear in sometimes the worst possible time. Have you? Here you. All right. Now, back to Silverfall. Okay. Oh, and you can see I now have five backup companions in case I want to choose different ones. And I'm still tossing around the idea of doing all their side stories in this series, but it, I don't know all the triggers for them because I haven't played with most of them, so, so I praise might to not. the king. Indeed, we must do everything we can to find them. That's one of the region's main. Yay! Skipping dialogue. So, are you ready? Some smugglers? No. Yes, Syria sometimes gives us him very well. All right, I'm going by boat to the next section. You can go by land, but uh, that that means fighting your way through a bunch of enemies and taking the long walk and I just don't feel like doing it so here I am okay now what's this uh, da, 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 da. all right Summon my friends, turn into a werewolf, and get going. Necro Raiders! In this zone, Necro Raiders are going to be everywhere. Come on, attack! There are different kinds of Necro Raiders. The most annoying are the ones that shoot. Another piece of wood. <sighs> All right. Now on the original Silverfall, Usually, in going up this uh, ramp on the road here, you'd encounter at least one set of four to five champions. But now, with the new randomization of the spawning of champions, that's not the case. So it's kind of a mixed blessing. It used to be I could count on this ramp giving me a lot of good loot and a lot of good experience, but in trade for that, now I can expect the ramp to be a lot quicker to walk up. Ah, give me the money. Ooh, a necklace. Let's see what that is. I don't use combustion. Okay, whatever. Let me through, let me through. All right, a giant necrorator. There are different kinds of giant necrorators different sizes and everything. They're pretty easy to take care of, and they tend to drop good stuff, but not always.
I'm just gonna skip that combat. again okay there we go all right I want to summon everything else because I'm gonna have to fight to get my way inside Dialogue, dialogue, and come back. that melee is over with there's a lot to the game that makes me believe that there's supposed to be some additional storyline but it's like they uh, they had a, an idea and didn't continue working on it it's kind of weird actually uh, let me to go over here there we go Now, this quest I'm about to do, or this part of the quest line that I'm about to do, involves having to pay for something. If you don't have the funds, you uh, should go get it, but it takes 10,000 uh, units of gold or whatever. It's called Ho here and here, here in this uh, dialogue. I don't know what the Po stands for, but... Uh, you click on the, I don't have the 10,000, and you can go get the 10,000, but I do. They are Necro Raiders, and very extreme. And once you pay them, you can continue with the dialogue and move on with the game. But at this point, you should have plenty of funds to cover it. Uh, I basically use just over half of my money but it's not like I'm using it for really much of anything else anyway. That is something to keep in mind. You need 10,000 bucks to finish the quest line. This guy here will give you quests towards technology, if I remember correctly. Which is why I'm not talking to him. Oh, another thing. There's skill masters. You can talk to them and redistribute your uh, skill points and your attribute points uh, for a nominal fee, uh, one point at a time. 
by basically taking points out of one thing and adding them to another there in the interface. Um, it isn't really all that expensive and it can be kind of useful if you have a, a certain character layout that you want to do but you've had to spend points elsewhere early on that you didn't necessarily want to spend. So it's a it's kind of a nice little thing that they added. But like I said, it does cost money. I think I have to go this way. But I'm gonna skip that combat. This is breakable. Just so you know. I'm beginning to think I was supposed to go this way. Now that goes over there. Well, we'll find out. Flying Necro Raiders. And that's not to say that they're champions, they are just special Necro Raiders. Huh. I don't remember this much regarding the entrance here. Pretty sure I can continue this way and leave this area. Might be wrong. Nope, I'm wrong. Yay, I got lost. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore them. I guess I had to go back down the road and come back. That's kind of hooey. Hooray for backtracking. This looks a bit more promising. Yes. It's sort of a road. Now there are other little encampments on this map, but I don't really think they have anything to do with the storyline. And uh, they may have something to do with some side quests, but other than that, uh, they're not really worth going after. Now where is the road? Off this way. Increase my movement speed here. All right, it's starting to turn purple, so that means I'm at the edge. All right, now that purple on the mini-map doesn't always line up exactly with where the transition point is for the uh, zones. So you kind of have to tinker around with where you're going. And in the interest of saving some time, I am going to just skip the uh, combat.
See this big chain here? It's basically the anchor for a uh, Zeppelin, but you can't get up to the Zeppelin from where you are. Uh, actually, you might be able to, but before you do that, you have to go through here the first time anyway. So yeah, I could get up here, but it wouldn't do me any good. So I'm going to have to go in here. To the next zone in order to continue. And let that load. I need to face this way. All right. And that is going to also be it for this episode. There's the timer. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, Leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to get back with you. And uh, do like this video if you uh, have enjoyed it. I appreciate the likes and the comments from you guys. And uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when the next video comes out. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. So thank you once again for watching. This is Throne of Night and I will talk to you later.